Ladies and gentlemen, the Durham probe is going to reject Michael Sussman's effort to block the Steele dossier, if you could believe this. So the third indictment, the third individual indicted during the Durham probe, special counsel, already tried to get the factual background portion of the indictment kicked out of court. The judge said, no, we're going to keep the factual background, which basically said he was being paid as were other people, to undermine and set up and frame Trump. That's what the factual background stated. Essentially, Trump's direct political rival, Madam Secretary, purchased a dossier through, her law, through, through, through the law firm that she was working with and then had people like Michael Sussman spread false information. In his case, it was about uh, a bogus story that Trump was communicating with our adversaries through a server in Trump Tower. Uh, So he was allegedly, and this proved to be completely false, communicating with a, a bank in Moscow. And that was, of course, a hoax, along with the Steele dossier that Clinton purchased. She did so with the help of one of this man's colleagues at the same law firm. Anyway, media, the Democratic Party, pushed for a special counsel, Mueller, um, uh, endless investigations, all based on absurd lies and deceitful statements. And now you have Sussman allegedly lying to James Baker at the FBI, being indicted because just today we find text messages that show He wasn't, he told Baker at the FBI, James Comey's top legal counsel, that he wasn't working on behalf of anybody. This, of course, was a lie. Now, Sussman wants the the judge to block the dossier. The dossier is one of the main reasons that Baker and others would even think of looking at all the nonsense that Sussman gave them. So it wasn't just that Sussman, the third person indicted in the Durham Probe Special Counsel, lied to the FBI. It wasn't just that. It was that the U.S. intelligence services were either duped or they were in on a, a plot or uh, an effort, a widespread effort to set up and frame an incoming candidate. So imagine if President Mashed Potato Brains had a dossier purchased against him by Rudy Giuliani. Democrats would never allow that. But see, that's the thing. Wonderful, morally superior liberal Democrats would never allow their political side to be treated in the manner they treat Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump or Tulsi Gabbard or anyone they disagree with or oppose. They're completely ruthless. And if they're not setting up and framing people. They're doing their best to silence people. Their ideas cannot hold up without everybody from Jimmy Kimmel to social media algorithms to uh, DirecTV and all of these um, massive venues and platforms kicking opposing voices out, silencing people, uh, suppressing discussion under the guise of saving lives and protecting you from harmful information. Well, look, these are the same people who set up and framed Trump, and now you have Sussman's attorneys, lawyer charged in Durham case asks to block dossier evidence. I mean, the chutzpah, the the unbelievable arrogance, the audacity. A lawyer for the Hillary Clinton campaign charged with lying to the FBI during the Trump-Russia investigation is asking a judge to block to block from his upcoming trial evidence or testimony related to a dossier of uncorroborated uncorroborated allegations compiled by uh, by Christopher Steele. Attorneys for Michael Sussman said prosecutors on special counsel John Durham's team told them last month that they planned to introduce testimony related to the so-called Steele dossier. The dossier contains unproven and discredited assertions. That's called baseless claims. But the FBI relied on it in part as agents applied for secret surveillance warrants. And Kevin Kleinsmith lied 
That's why he was indicted. He fabricated evidence. Then Danchenko, the steel subsource, was indicted. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. We're almost at 196,000 subs. People, I'm doing this all myself with your help. I'm not a part of any, um, you know, uh, group or, or, or a conglomerate uh, or $20 million venture capital firm like some people who claim to be opposing the system. I'm just reading from public record, reputable sources. This is an Associated Press article, and I'm giving you uh, what I think is very important analysis. So hit subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends. Word of mouth is the most important thing if you enjoy my work. Um, and to my new Patreons, thank you. My Patreon is below in the pinned comment, ladies and gentlemen. Read my article predicting the upcoming stock market crash. Everything from Bitcoin to equities is going to tank. We're seeing this right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are seeing this right now. Uh, the economy, since I wrote that article in October of 2021, has only gotten worse. So, and I've been telling you everything, basically, that you're seeing right now. Um, but hit subscribe. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. Read that Federalist article below in the pinned comment. And by the way, thank you for all the kind words. Uh, especially for people who have been with me since I had like 5,000 subs or since 20, 2015 uh, or late 2015, early 2016. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, there was one person in the comments section. I, I always look back and sometimes if I'm on my phone or I, I always say, okay, I'm going to go back and, and like or give a heart to, 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 that, to this specific comment or that specific comment, but I forgot to. And I, you know what, to that person, thank you so much. To everybody, thank you so much for being with me for so long. If indeed also you've been with me since 2016 uh, or late 2015, I really started the channel, but I was only doing like one segment every week. But anyway, any modicum, quote, any modicum of relevance would be so substantially outweighed by risk of confusion, delay, waste, and unfair prejudice as to require evidence to be uh, precluded. Assessments attorney wrote, so, as to require, unfair prejudice, to require this evidence to be precluded, uh, Cooper said Durham's team should not permit to uh, turn the trial into a circus, of full, a circus full of sideshows that will only fuel partisan fervor. You, that's only what they did. That's only what Sussman was there to do, create partisan fervor. He met with Baker to fuel partisan fervor with an Alpha Bank story he knew to be false. It's complete nonsense. It, even within the indictment, it stated, oh, yeah, you know what? We have to please VIPs. They all knew it was nonsense. They were being paid for the specific goal of achieving partisan uh, fervor. Okay? They don't want the Steele dossier because it makes Sussman look bad. That's the reason. And because his colleague at, at, at the same law firm um, helped purchase the steel dossier and here's here's what here's what uh, and and the FBI wouldn't have looked at the Alpha Bank nonsense had they not already been looking at the steel dossier so Durham is going to reject this absurd request the steel dossier the Alpha Bank story they're all the same thing they're Trump's direct political rivals going after him and that's why, alleged, that's why he was impeached even though President Zelensky himself stated that never happened he was never pressured so you have to ask yourself, you have an indicted attorney who is saying, oh, no, 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 don't use the Steele dossier for an attorney that helped spread the Alpha Bank hoax because you can't, you can't mix two uh, baseless, absurd, fabricated fairy tales and fantasies together. You can't have an indicted attorney paid by Clinton who lied to the FBI about an Alpha Bank story they completely made up also have to contend in court with a Steele dossier that his firm also um, spread and, and, and promulgated and disseminated within the U.S. government and media. This is hilarious, but they're the same thing. Then they keep saying, well, you know, we don't want a partisan reaction from conservative media. Well, that's all you had is a partisan reaction from all of media. They, they, look, 
the way Democrats and morally superior liberals think is the following. They can actually spread lies about Trump, but if the truth about them, that they actually purchased baseless claims and had those baseless claims filtered through media and government agencies against Trump, no, 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 because you know why? Uh, you might have Tucker Carlson or Sean Hannity or anyone else at other Newsmax. Uh, you might have those people say that, well, uh, they were all setting up and framing Trump, and we don't want that. We wouldn't want those people, the conservatives or the Trump supporters, to actually uh, you know, tell the truth about what, what's actually taking place. So better, it's better for the judge to uh, not introduce the Steele dossier. No, the Steele dossier is directly relevant to what Sussman was doing. Uh, because without the Steele dossier, uh, Baker and others almost certainly wouldn't have looked at the Alpha Bank nonsense. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. I'll be back in one hour. Thank you.